Welcome back to Chins and Giggles. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome back to the podcast. Episode two. Wow. We really have a podcast. I still can't believe it. I can't believe it either, girl. And you know what? Last episode, it was a roller coaster, but I feel like this time around, like today, we feel a little bit more comfortable. Yes. Since we got like, you know, the first episode out of the way, I feel like we're kind of more ready. And this episode is actually really fun. Um, These are the vibes today. I mean, yeah, if you are, girl. if you are watching on YouTube, you see what's going on. But if you're listening, we actually have some beer. And did you want Michelada dip? I'm okay. Um, I kind of want some rim dip. So we got some beer. What are we celebrating? Um, <laughs> the podcast. Oh my God, I'm getting chamoy on me. Okay, so I'm just going to, you know what? Let me just dip this. Okay, so if you can't see the visuals right now, I got some chamoy, some thick, thick ass chamoy. We got a michelada cup. Shout out to Original Micha Sauce. They have the best michelada cups. Whoa. And oh my gosh, if y'all could only see this it's right like now. It's like thick. It's really thick, girl. This looks so good. Um, these are the vibes today, y'all. Mm-hmm. We're going in today, girl. How has your week been, first of all? I've been remodeling my house actually. Oh my God, period. I saw so I your just chimney. I just bought a house, y'all, in January. And we are slowly like remodeling. We painted the walls white. We still need to fix some of the walls because Loki, we they, they painted it kind of wrong. Oh my god! So girl, the, like you've that. seen it, huh? I know. I don't get that. It was <laughs> recommended by a friend, and I actually trusted that it would look good. So, anyways, um, we are actually going to be going ourselves in, just painting it. Oh, you guys are going to. But paint we it? have high ceilings in one of the living rooms, which makes it hard to paint. Mm-hmm. So that's a little cringy. But I feel like I'm that kind of person. Like, if I'm getting my nails done and you're fucking them up, I'm still going to say thank you and tip you. Oh, my God. Like, me. why am I like that? So with the with the painter, I was like, thank you so much. I didn't tip just because I was like, okay, this is such a, like, fucked up job. But I was not rude about it. I didn't tell him. I was like, I love it. Thank you. You know, super nice about you it. You told him you loved it? Yeah. And then the fireplace, we actually did that ourselves. Well, my dad was, like, played a huge role, obviously. And it actually came out really good. Oh, period. So it we just need great. to paint the trim of the fireplace. And then I think the next project after that is the kitchen. It so looks so good, dude. We're having a lot of fun. It looks remodeling. great. That chimney looks iconic. No, actually, I think... No, no, no. The next project, I think, is the the restroom. The downstairs period. restroom. Because it's, like, easier. Oh. It's, like, smaller. And, yeah. Girl. Doing all that, girl. This Michelada is so I'm good. really into vitamins right now, too. Why am I ranting and greeners over here? With her michelada going off, girl. So people actually usually prepare them way better. Like, this is technically not what people would consider michelada. But these cups are just so good. I just put the beer in it and that's it. Period. I have I have it everywhere, huh? Wait, I just had vitamins. Can I have this? It's uh, it's vitamins. I think you're good. <laughs> but you know what? I've been really getting into vitamins, especially this week. I actually asked on Instagram, like, what I should be taking. I'm taking um fish oil, just like regular yeah. prenatals. Um, y'all, I'm not pregnant. I would not be drinking right now. But what else? And then I actually got um, what is it called? What's that one I was telling you about? Mm. Girl, magnesium. Magnesium. I just ordered that, and then I actually ordered. I need to get on vitamins. Another one. I forgot the name. <laughs> I need to get on them because I'm going bald. Like. After, I like, feel like okay so me and Karina have discussed that we think we have PCOS I think I do I think I do I feel like right now I'm struggling a lot with um like my periods are irregular mm-hmm. and I don't know I just feel like I have I, like random um chin hairs coming out period I was telling Karina too how yeah like they're not like full-on beard but like random like <laughs> I probably have like two yeah they grow out sparse but I'm like that is so weird. I've never seen that unless I'm just noticing it. No, mine's are. Yeah. But I have like two on my chin that grow out and they're like thin. But then could it be because I just have thin hair and that's just no, like my beard some of mine, growing out? No, because some of mine could get like a little thicker. Period. Yeah. So it just depends. <laughs> but. She's getting a beard, honey. <laughs> Period. I love how you're just licking your finger. Oh, mine is getting a little I'm thicker. I'm like really enjoying this drink. I really like doing these. Like they're so delicious. Well, anyways, 
So are you doing anything? I mean, I haven't been diagnosed with PCOS, but I've just been getting really into vitamins because I'm just noticing like my periods have been ir- irregular for a really long time. Same. Dude. And I kind of want to fix that. I and I am like kind of struggling to get pregnant too. And I feel like that might play a huge role. I feel like, I don't you know. know what though? You, I would, I, you barely started trying recently again. Mm-hmm. So I feel like, it's no, but still have, even you know? before prior, like no, us know, trying to get pregnant, like by the time I got pregnant, no, it took me true. two years to get pregnant. I know. So I don't know, girl, I'm on top of my vitamins right I now. I think though. we have a hormone imbalance. But I, I actually, you know what, so. y'all, I actually like took a, a test with modern fertility. So I should be getting my results back soon. I need that. I got it. I got it for you. But I just. Oh, you, you took a test if you have PCOS. Well, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Wait. Well, I'm taking it tomorrow. But by the time they see this, uh, oh, you already have taken it. Yeah. But mm. I feel like we probably do. We have some you kind lost of weight, issues. though. Could that help it? probably but you know what now that i'm thinking about it because you know we were talking about it earlier how with pcos like you could struggle to lose weight i i mean obviously, i have like, been blowing this the is not helping up. me right now this is obviously not helping right now but i have noticed that even when i have been on it on it i've been losing it slowly like one to two pounds a week when like back in the day and we've like always had a week. we've always like flux our weights have always fluctuated yeah you know like i Good don't ass. know like i was just saying earlier how you know how sometimes you do have your weeks where you're like, okay, because I definitely, I have my moments where I eat bad and I'm like binging, but even say I do dedicate a week, right? Especially recently where I'm like, what is going on? Like if you even, even if I try to dedicate a week, like, okay, I'll cut this and this and this off and I don't see the scale move. If anything, like I've gained like two more pounds and I'm like, I literally did nothing to gain these two pounds. I have pounds. noticed that. And where you're actually like, I've been working out. I've been doing things. I really think I have PCOS. I haven't been working out. So I hope but. the vitamins somewhat help. I mean, obviously this doesn't help, but I'm not freaking drinking every day either, you know? Yeah. But I think we have that. I think we might, girl, but we'll I don't know, girl, soon. get on vitamins, though. I need to get on vitamins because I, I feel like you don't take vitamins. I feel like I'm, I'm on. I clearly I feel like I'm dude. getting like I'm so into them right now that I'm telling everybody like, oh my god, you should be taking vitamins. I need to do you it. You should be taking this. Like this is good for this. The Every- other day, how I met. Sorry. <laughs> Every time I try to get a word, I, 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 I don't know. I know, right? Like the other one, I feel like you were talking more, and today I'm talking more. But remember that day, like um, I don't know if you had told me that Raul kind of sometimes gets headaches, and you think he has like high blood pressure. I think he has cholesterol. <laughs> Oh, cholesterol. Really and I does. was like, oh my God, you should get him on fish oil. Yeah. I, I was like, I'm trying to get everybody on vitamins right now. I need to get on vitamins. <laughs> like, I'm actually like, I have a lot of hair loss. You could probably even see, like, you if know, you're watching it, on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to shut up. If you're watching on YouTube, you could probably even see where I put, like, um, <laughs> like you I see where I'm bald. No, I put eyeshadow right here because it was, like, really sparse. So I'm like, I probably look like I have fucking patches on me right now because I, I put, like, um, whatever. But, um, Go off. I don't know what you were going to say. Well, we don't have a lot of hair. Like, I yeah, uh, we've never had a lot like, of hair. Like, what if that has to do with certain vitamins that we're lacking? Yeah. And 100%. Now, I mean, the more you look into it, it's kind of crazy. Obviously, people are going to be like, girl, does he help me? Like, no, but- we are lacking vitamins because when I had done a bunch of testing, um, I was like, I had like something like a gen, it was like a, some kind of genetic, it's like a mutation. I forgot what it's called. But that certain mutation, my body doesn't break down folic acid, right? And, like, also other vitamins doesn't break them down right either. So I know I'm, like... And that explains why we've been anemic almost our whole life. That part. I should probably be taking iron then. That part. I haven't had anemia in a minute. Yeah. But we had it for a long ass time. Remember, like, ever since we were kids? Right? Period. Could it be, like... I have this theory that it could be because we're twins... And what? my mom couldn't give us enough vitamins together, and that's why we're always low on iron. Is that a thing? Can we? Whoa, Google that, one? that Wait, part. Google. Or you know how, like, okay, there's always one twin. This is my theory. There's always one twin that's a little more slow than the other one. Than the, than the other one. I feel like I'm the slow one. Girl. Like, you took more of that intelligence from me. No. You know what I mean? Or, like, you know, like, there's never, like, one's always that, more like crazy thing, than girl. the other one Wait. that could be a good theory girl i don't know but the vitamins thing oh uh, no i don't think that's a thing anyways it's sorry. not i think <laughs> no <laughs> i searched it up right now but the um, iron one i don't think so i searched it up is it something about like i, I would know. i thought 
Because they actually say what you take when you're pregnant, that that kind of, I mean, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, that that that's kind of like what the child is going to well, grow up to I be. took a shitload of vitamins and Mia has a lot of hair. Whole set so of hair. Maybe that, I do sometimes think that it had to do with it, but people will be in my DMs like, that's stupid. So I'm like, never mind. But every, like I my mom told me it might be Well, possible. people take vitamins for hair, skin, and nails. Like, why wouldn't that? That part that part and that's why i'm taking vitamins because i'm tired of being bald too girl me too i really I think that vitamins. has to play a big role too like the every day that goes by and my mom I think about it when she was pregnant remember she was like going through it like we sucked that girl, girl up mm-hmm. like what sucked if we dry. really <laughs> sucked her dry no <laughs> she was like so skinny <laughs> but oh my I god know, i'm Wait, just so into I'm the vitamins about, girl. right now that you were talking about your week something happened this week what happened well, they said wig i was like <laughs> i don't got a wig on girl no, we wait. do wear extensions though hey what happened this week <laughs> what happened oh my god wait duh i was i was booking oh my bad i forgot to ask you what you did no you're fine <laughs> I was like let me ask myself since you didn't ask no, me. no no because um i was like something's happening this week like literally as you What's were saying happening? that I actually just booked um, our trip. Oh, yep. I'm going <laughs> to let you talk. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to be going somewhere. Well, Raul's birthday is literally in two days. So I've been planning a little trip for us. I'm really excited. That's all I've been doing this week. Like I ordered a bunch of clothes from Fashion Nova and like that's all I've been doing. And we've also just been like catching up on like Netflix and shit. Mm-hmm. There is some crazy shit on uh, Netflix right now. There's a lot of good shows right now. I feel like I'm barely getting back into shows because... Do you even watch Netflix? Because I feel like I've never heard you like recommend me a show ever. Maya. I watch Love is Blind. I've been watching <gasps> Love is Blind. I want to watch that. I didn't watch so the second season bad. completely, but I was saying like the beginning. It was is pretty it crazy. Good? It's really good. Is it better than season one? Mm, I feel like the first season is always going to be iconic, girl. I don't know. I don't know. I heard season two's good. Season- I haven't seen all of it, though. That's why. Season one was good. And I heard season two is really, really good. And I just been seeing everybody talk about it. So I really want to watch that one hmm what do you watch um the last i'm thinking about the last thing i watched um you know what other you one know what oh who is your phone vibrating <laughs> what the fuck is calling me i'm filming a podcast <laughs> oh, i feel like me my podcast leave me alone like okay has a, sec- a second episode like <laughs> <laughs> um you is it the one i'm thinking about um the the, the woman across the window oh that okay i've never gotten what into seasons called? like that and that one was like whoa the, w- the woman, woman across the window the woman across the window inside in, the house it's like really a long the glass or some bullshit yeah it's like a really long title and i was like why is it so long then i realized it's an actual it's a parody parody yeah because i don't know it was weird huh it was spoiler alert the ending is so dumb I like think it's I, supposed to be done. At first, I was mad at the ending, but then I was like, if it's supposed to be some kind of parody, I don't get the whole parody shit. I guess it's making fun of another movie, but it's really good. Something. It's really good, yeah. But it was kind of stupid. But it's then at the, the same time, first actual show that I can watch like all the way through. I watched oh, it in a sitting. You the need to whole get, season. You need to get more into shows. I think you would like them. What shows do you like, girly? Because oh, that's all. I, oh shit! Because like so. even Love Is Blind. I cannot sit and watch all of it. I get distracted really fast. No, let me tell you about this one. And I actually shout out to Laura Lee and Manny MUA because they have a podcast full coverage. I watch their watch shit them. every day. Um, watched it this morning. Okay, so they actually, they had uh, talked about the Tinder swindler. And I guess it's like everywhere right now. Like everybody knew about it. I just hadn't heard about it. And I heard about it on their podcast. So I watched it and it's fucking crazy. Have you watched it? I haven't. I haven't seen it. You haven't wa- You haven't even heard of it. Heard about it? I haven't. I haven't heard of it, girl. You haven't watched it. Has I'm sure Brian. Has I always just it. go on Netflix and I see like the trending. No, it's really good. I didn't even finish the first. I don't know how many seasons it is, but are you like a binge girl that you actually like binge watch? Binge I, me watch and Raul will actually watch shows and like every night we will watch an episode. We get excited for it. Like it's fun. But oh. that is basically about a guy. Um, I don't even know how to explain it. It's so crazy. He's like. I think it's called a con artist, right? When they like con people, like they scam people. So he's this guy on Tinder that uh, he basically meets girls and scams them for like hundreds of thousands of dollars. He makes him think that he's like some billionaire. And I don't know how he does it because 
I was watching it and I was like, damn, if I were them, I would also think he was a billionaire. Like he will literally meet them, like meet up with them, uh, take them in private jets, like travel the world, uh, five star hotels, like lavish as fuck. And like, mm. you would think like how in the world would he be lying to me? He's taking me on these private jets, mm-hmm. but oh, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil too much. Don't spoil it girl. Cause you're I don't want to spoil too much, too much. But the point is like, he scams people out of hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like, like he's scammed people for millions, millions, mm-hmm. and it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Wow! I just I started watch watching it. it, but shout out to them because that's how I found out about it. It's really good. I need to like. I can't crazy. sit through and like concentrate like. Yeah, that. you can. No, that's why I'm saying that love is blind. No, not that one. The woman across the window. That's the only one that I was like, whoa. No, you need to watch. You need to watch the Tinder Swindler. It's good. Yeah. Was um yellow is a new black orange is a new black what is that, that one was good orange that one was on black. netflix right yeah that one, yellow was a new black bitch what we love pokemon imagine that was a long time ago huh <laughs> that was that I was on netflix remember. oh euphoria too and that and already. everyone's talking about that and i it still can't ended. watch it i think the finale already happened girl yeah yeah it already happened i know but i don't know why i can't sit through and watch episodes like fully sit through them i just get distracted easily I but that one episode I was telling you about, uh, the one season, um, the woman across the window, I was mind blown. I actually started show. watching the original movie. It was inspired off of. It was like, actually inspired off a movie. I haven't watched the real one. And the movie, oh, the like, original. it didn't catch my attention. <laughs> I mean, am I the only one drinking right now? I was drinking a little bit. Like that TikTok. But... Why am I the only one popping my fucking pussy? Or how does it go? Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very. Um, but speaking of popping pussy, girl. Uh huh. We're going to Vegas. I know, girl. We're going to Vegas. I actually leave to Vegas tomorrow. Like, literally tomorrow. The fact that you're going to be there all those days. Oh, that's I don't know. crazy. I usually only go over the weekend, but Raul's birthday is on Thursday. And tomorrow's Wednesday. So, we're leaving tomorrow night. We're just going to be there at night. And then, I we just want to wake up in Vegas on his actual birthday and, like, do stuff in Vegas. But his birthday is on Thursday, but we're coming back till Sunday. So, we're there, like, for, like, five days in total. Because we get there Wednesday, leave Sunday. Um, Everybody else is getting there until, like... You guys are getting getting there Friday, huh? What time is... Wait, not what time. (laughs) Which one? Wait, what? (laughs) No, I was going to say, how old is he? I was like, what time is he, like... (laughs) There he is. (laughs) He is... 32 o'clock, came in. 32 Um, o'clock, bitch. And he's going to be 30... No, he's 31, huh? (laughs) Is he 30 right now? Oh, yeah he's 30 oh my god not me forgetting my husband's birthday i mean um he's gonna be 31 <laughs> yeah wow in okay. two days but i'm gonna get there on friday because i'm not mm-hmm. there's just no way girl and i got my fashion nova order in today and mm-hmm. i need to try everything what are on. you wearing i don't know i you just haven't even told shit. us what we're doing like the activities you have planned well, out for him i just want to like go off obviously you know we love Vegas, per. The last time I went to Vegas, what, what was the last I time I went to Vegas? I don't remember the last time. I went last Father's Day. We had gone, and it was just Raul, Mia, and I for, like, two days, and it was fun. But this time, we're actually trying to turn up and all. Oh, I need to figure out the babysitter situation, girl, because. Wait. Well, how, what are you doing? Are you planning on clubbing? Wait, I don't know how we're going to do that, though. Because day activities, she can go. Yeah, like, we're going to do like, family things. No, she's not. <laughs> no, we are. We're going to do family things, like you know we're actually excited because she's like older now she's gonna be one already and she's very like um what's the word alert and she just like loves i feel like she around. wouldn't even give you a hard time she's so like i think she's gonna have fun like i'm excited yeah but because the last time we went, she was like two months old so i think she'll actually have fun but i need to figure out like because i think his mom was gonna go or i was like my swag i was gonna go and we're not 100 percent sure yet but i was also i was also gonna ask my parents if they wanted to go to i don't know but if they do, like, maybe they can take care of her at night if we do want to go, like, to a bar or something, because that would be fun. Mm-hmm. But um, I do want to do brunch in Vegas, because we don't do brunch here. We've only done brunch, like, once ever. I'm looking forward to the buffets. Oh, period. The buffets, Dude, girl. something about, like, waking up in Vegas, waking going up, downstairs, and just that smell of cigarette and cologne and perfume mixed together. <laughs> honestly is everything sorry i'm i'm actually choking are you okay <coughs> no i have the freaking michelada oh. i hate now that when you cough people think you have covid oh don't get me started on that girl i'm like oh my god i can't cough because they're gonna be like she has covid mm-hmm. what's the whole other thing girl? <coughs> let it out it's okay it's those damn chili flakes i know <coughs> let it out 
the cigarette smell. I hate it, but no, I love it in Vegas, girl. I hate girl. the cigarettes. I hate cigarettes. I hate I, smell. I've never smoked a cigarette either, girl. Like, I, yeah. I hate it. But you know you're in Vegas when it smells like cigarette. But something about <laughs> Vegas, like the casinos. Shit, girl, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, no i'm actually choking for real but, <laughs> but something about like i hate the smell of cigarettes but something about the casino smell like the cigarettes and just know you're in vegas when and the cologne like it just smells like i like it <coughs> and it's just because it's vegas that's it because don't you know let's not do a smoking room because a smoking room unacceptable that just smells so bad but somehow like in the well casino, if you get out if you get if you um actually get a room in uh, Motel Six, you'll definitely get a room that smells like cigarette, girl. Dude, much. no. We, en- we ended up staying at a Motel Six for your bachelorette party, and it fucking raked, girl. I think you guys like ended up going somewhere else, no? Because it I was like really I, bad. Yeah, it was really bad. Since we're already on the subject, I guess we can tell some stories of Vegas and just in general, maybe drinking stories. I don't know. Oof, but girl. <laughs> I know you guys. Stay- you know what's crazy though? Like I feel like I'll hold- speaking of hotels because you said it was like gross or whatever. Mm-hmm. I feel mm. like you could just never know. It doesn't matter where you're at. I remember, I don't know, we had gone to Vegas, I don't know when, like a year or so ago. And Marisol and Luis, which is um, our brother and our cuñada, our sister-in-law, they stayed in a room with their <coughs> kids, our, our niece and nephew. <laughs> I'm still joking, bitch. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Just... <coughs> and <laughs> chili flakes. It was not... like, it was literally a sweet it was a suite that they stayed in, in like a fancy hotel and all. And the couch, um, I remember Chubbs, which is my nephew. He literally found like dirty face masks and like an open water bottle. There was like food like and he was like, I think he was trying to eat something. And that's why like Marisol like lost her shit. And she was like, oh, my God, what the hell? Because I don't know. At first they get them, they gave him the wrong room at first. And then that yeah. happened. So she like told him like, you know, like, yo, like my baby is like literally eating like stuff off the couch, like food that was inside the couch Mm -hmm. so it just i remember thinking like i was flabbergasted because i was thinking like you know the pandemic's been going on for who knows how long at this point it feels like a lifetime honestly but like like we're in the middle of a pandemic and like this is how clean y'all clean this room like this is you know what i mean it made you it made you think like this is like a a sweet you know they're cleaning more now because of the pandemic that's the thing Mara. so i'm like why this is how sanitary you guys are like this is during a pandemic right and this is how sanitary y'all are, that there's dirty face masks, like, tucked in between the seats and everything like that. Like, the kids are literally pulling out face masks with water bottles, like, open water bottles. There was, like, pizza and everything. Like, it was bad. Mm-hmm. I remember we were fucking shook. And, like, this was, like, a fancier hotel. This was a suite that was, like, really expensive. So imagine, like, that. And, like, and you just think about, like, the other hotels. You're like, dude, like, none of us are safe. These sheets could have all kinds of shit on them for all we know. Mm-hmm. well i've seen people actually like put those lights those what i don't even want to do lights. that i know what is it where they they could see stains and stuff uh, do you think they're really washing all those sheets i don't think they are i mean maybe they are speaking of vegas girl let's talk about some drunk are you thinking actually of drinking this weekend yeah oh period. i'm drinking right now i'm pre-gaming right now oh because i'm leaving tomorrow girl what's like i'm trying to think Let's talk about drunk stories because I mean we I'm have sure a lot we've of had Vegas. Vegas are my most like oh, fun Vegas, yep. drunk stories. And have you like, ever like blacked out though? Where you're like, I don't remember a thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A hundred percent. Explain. I'm well, I don't know if I should. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um the first time I no, I haven't blacked out a lot. Like I feel like maybe it's happened i don't know like once no nah, not once no blackout when you say like blackout like you like blacked out <laughs> oh i gotta have a good one too I'm, i've been really drunk but i feel like blacked out <laughs> thinking about something right now i feel like and this is like the only reason i want to say it is because um i think i was like drinking with andrea or my friend andrea like a really like close childhood friend and i was probably like 17 at the time so i was definitely not mm of age and i was doing it behind my parents back so and i think i probably had a few beers only but it's because like i wouldn't drink often obviously that like i blacked out i'm sure with like a few beers no like blacked out like i How got you home, get home and i was literally like is this sounds dramatic but i remember getting home and i like i remember like crawling like on all fours to the bed 
What? Because I couldn't walk. And then I remember like feeling really, really, really nauseous. And like, obviously I used to share a room with everybody else, you know? And I was like, they're not about to see me drunk. Like they're not about to see me throw up in this room. I got to act natural. So I literally like left through like the back door. Cause we had a back door. Remember that back door? Mm-hmm. I went through the back door and I literally like was literally on all fours crawling in the grass, like throwing up everywhere. Like at two in the morning. No. Yeah. And I don't know if my mom ever saw the throw. That's kind of creepy. Day. The neighbor looking out the fucking window seeing someone <laughs> crawling all over the floor, bitch. Some I'm thinking about exorcist shit right there. Some act, yeah, that's a big ass exorcist <laughs> or big girl <laughs> just throwing office. up. Like, what the fuck is going on? That's scary. That's fucking scary. The way you described it, I just, I really pictured the whole like. No, but like, I just, moment. I just remember like vividly crawling on all fours, even on the way to the bed, because I just could not stand up. What? I could not stand up, and even then, I felt like my arms were giving up on me while doing that. Mm-hmm yeah i was like yeah i I should not been drinking you know when it was really bad for me where i was like holy shit what do you remember i'll let you like guess the party did you pee i've peed multiple times girl fuck so which one was (laughs) the one of those oh i have a good ass story right now after this wait is it my mom's my mom's Um, wedding my mom and dad's wedding when it they, was so bad their, they had their 25th year anniversary wedding yeah that was years ago too low-key mm-hmm. yeah years ago how many years ago i just remember you peed your like standing so, up no but i was like i don't remember a thing i just remember i don't know i just remember drinking and like you know sometimes you don't feel it mm-hmm. i don't know if i was like back to back but like within minutes i remember like I didn't know, you know, when you're so drunk that you're like doing your thing and like in a second you're like somewhere else and you're like, how did I go from point A to point B? Like that. All the time, yeah. And I remember that time I was standing there and I was like, I need to use the restroom. I need to go, the, I'm gonna, you know, I they remember, have the porta potties, right? I remember right? that day. And I'm like, I need to go, I need to go. And like, I don't know what happened, but I remember saying, <laughs> I need to go. And I was like, I remember. Like, I just remember seeing a puddle growing around me, girl. I was, I like, remember, oh, I was like, oh my God. My God. You were like, I have to pee, I have to pee. And there was already like pee gushing out of you. And then from like, there, I post. don't remember a thing. It was a and lot. I was told that Brian and um, somebody else, I don't know if I should mention. What? <laughs> your ex. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is that fine? <laughs> <laughs> it's, I mean, he was my ex. It doesn't matter. <laughs> and so it was Brian and him. And they they got me out of the truck because I was literally blacked out, right? I don't even remember how the wedding ended. I, I don't did. know how I got in the truck. I don't know how I got out of the truck. I don't know how I got in bed. I don't remember anything, Karina. So they thought, like, I was fine. So they basically carried me to the front of the house. Oh like, God. and, like, they stood me up. Oh, my God, I remember that. They, let, they left me in front of the door thinking I was going to walk to my room. And they told me they literally left me and I fucking collapsed on the fucking floor. <laughs> you collapsed. Like, literally collapsed. <laughs> I saw that bitch, shit. if y'all see i'm literally blacked out can't <laughs> walk why would you guys leave me like a noodle there i remember that day and i don't remember i woke up the next day and i literally was like oh, like i didn't even have a hangover and i was like good morning to everybody my mom like, was it like it smells like pee on here yeah no and like my mom was saying she's like Vete pa allá. like like estás bien sucia, bien miada y gomitada. <laughs> I was like, really? Bien miada, and man. I remember thinking, like, wait, how did I get home? I don't remember anything, Karina. I don't remember. I don't remember a thing. You were, it was a water hose. Apparently, I was like crying in the truck too. <laughs> I become very apologetic, apologetic when I drink. Like I feel like I'm like embarrassing. <laughs> so I start apologizing and crying that I ruined the party. I, did. I do that a I, lot, huh? Yeah, yeah. And you always tell me you're like, why do you no, do that? I do that too though, and I always I'm always like telling like, my you feel like you're the one that ruined the party. I feel like I always tell you, I'm like, can you please tell me if I'm embarrassing myself? Like let me fucking know if I'm doing too much. Cause every time I drink, it never fails. The next day I'm like, Oh, I hope I didn't look stupid. Yeah. I know I probably look stupid as fuck going off. But then everybody's like, the same way. Everyone's the same. Yeah, who's going to judge you, right? I get embarrassed of my drunk self a lot of the time. Me too. Like, all the time. I'm like, no, oh my you gosh, know when I so cringe cringy. at the next day, the stories, I'm like, what did I post? Mm-hmm. Like, oh my God, what did I post? And I've gotten good I'll at that. I'll be having nightmares with that shit. I've gotten good at, like, enjoying the moment and not taking out my phone because you just, like, never know what the fuck you're posting. Yeah, dead ass. Like, what if you're, like, in the restroom and you accidentally post your fucking ass or something? You know what I mean? You're like, like oh my literally, God. I like, you never too. know. So I just try not to even, like, mm-hmm. be on my phone so much when I'm drinking because I'm like, 
I don't want to post some stupid shit and the next day be like, wait a fucking minute, you know? I'm thinking of a really, um, of a story. What was that, Pharrell? You told me you were thinking of something else. It's actually not Vegas related, but it was like crazy. You or me? For all of us. Really? We were like really drunk and like a huge fight broke out. <gasps> oh shit. That was fucking insane. Oh my god, insane, that man. was crazy. You guys, this was actually like we still talk about it to this day and we actually like crack up now. Like now we laugh. But let's throw it back like this is pre YouTube. We were not even on YouTube, YouTube mm-hmm. yet or anything. No, I was on YouTube. I did my um Ooh. Ivy makeup look. You were on YouTube then at the time. What what's 2013 name? probably? What's her name? The girl? Ivy? Ivy Queen. Poison Ivy. Oh, <laughs> Ivy Queen. Ivy <laughs> like Queen. Time, like my own. <laughs> no, no, no. No, fuck. No, I'm Poison done. Ivy. No. I actually did a look on YouTube for that. I was Poison Ivy that Halloween party. <laughs> so it was a Halloween party. Everybody was having a great time. Oh my God. Wait. And this is know. what, can I say what I remember? Mm-hmm. And maybe you could break down the story. I just remember everybody was having a good time. I think I blacked out that night too because I kind of don't remember a lot. I just remember you were getting down with somebody. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> At dude. the party, I have never seen Karina f- get in a physical fight. This was my first time seeing you I get can't physical. Do it, dude. And I just remember being like, "No, but I have to say and I, what happened, though." Okay, I wasn't drunk. It's not because I was drunk. I mean, I was drunk, but it wasn't because I was drunk. Everybody was drunk that day. Everybody. But I was actually separating a fight that day Ooh. because Lupita um, and her cuñada Jessica were fighting some girls or no 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 i i don't know what the heck was happening i just remember <laughs> we were drinking having the abs an absolute blast it was a halloween it was party so fun halloween parties are so fun why are we cursed on halloween parties because there was another halloween party where somebody the year else after that the year after that there was some bitches getting rocked and shit. i was like I, we were not fighting but there was other people fighting and i was like yo two years in a row what's going on that was the only year that we fought though for sure i just remember what i remember was seeing um i think lupita was already separated at that, that point somebody else was fighting some girl that was the there fighting yeah and naturally like i'm seeing her fight jessica and i'm like Ugh. like you know naturally i'm like get off her bitch you know so, yeah <laughs> so then i go over there and like i rip her off of her like i do like i like i got so Period. angry i got so angry and i was like get off of her and like i i picked her up and like i pushed her or whatever like i got her off and pushed her uh-huh. and because i pushed her like she was obviously gonna fucking hit me you know mm-hmm. so then i started hitting her back and then um yeah w- i just remember then no, you were getting down too. and then at some point i just remember you getting down and then like literally seconds after i don't know how the fight even went huh? i probably got my ass rocked i don't know but <laughs> i remember i literally and i'm not saying this because i'm embarrassed to admit it i don't remember i don't remember like i really don't there. remember i just remember like she was yanking the fuck out of my hair uh-huh and like they were trying to separate my hair and she was not letting go bitch mm. i was like she's about to rip my scalp off <laughs> She was about to scalp you, bitch. The bitch was gonna scalp me, and she was like remember. a ladybug. I remember she was a grown ass bitch too. She was a grown ass. We, we had to have been like what seventeen, eighteen. She was like in her thirties easily. Yeah, which is like I just remember she was kids. a ladybug. Yeah, and like we even made it a joke after, like, oh, the ladybug, like, like, yeah. If you're a ladybug for Halloween, girl. Oof. Ooh, child. I don't know. It's just funny though, because like I don't even know how that happened. That everybody started fighting. Like I was just trying to get her off of somebody. I mean, I get it. Maybe I was aggressive when I threw her off. I don't know. I mean, yeah. Honestly, we were so drunk. I don't oh know what my the god! Fuck I remember. No, a door broke too. A door broke that day. I remember. I threw a table. The big question is, who the fuck broke that door? I don't know. I have a feeling that like when they were coming in, like someone slammed it. I don't know. I just remember um, being so mad because Raul was holding me back. Because I remember, like, after, like, everybody got separated, Luis was like, go fuck that bitch up right now, obviously. Like, Luis, you know, hyping <laughs> us up. Luis, our brother. He's like, Karina, go fuck that bitch up. So then I go like a dumbass, you know? <laughs> and then over there getting my ass rocked. <laughs> no, no, no. No, this is after we had already, like, fought and got separated. And he was like, go fuck her up. And he was, like, literally taking me, like, go fuck her up type of shit. So um, there I go, and then Raul's holding me back at the door. She throws like a beer, like a glass beer, and like Ooh, misses. Bitch, not the but beer. she hits. I'm like at the door, at the doorway, right? And she she misses by like a few inches and hits the door. And when I saw it like shatter, like 
I think like I got like my that butt. Would trigger the fuck, I turned yeah. into Hulk, bitch. As you should. In that very moment, like now she's getting dramatic, violent, bitch. Like no, I now got you're using pissed. a fucking weapon, honey. B- bitch, you almost got glass in my face at that point. Yeah, I literally like in that moment. I don't know. I turned into Hulk. Like I, I Raul like somehow like let me go in that moment. I grabbed the fucking table, like the plastic tables, and I threw that shit at her. <laughs> And I, I'm sure I was screaming some shit. I'm sure I was she screaming. got the whole table. I was probably screaming some shit. I don't know what I was saying, but it's because I was actually pretty strong at the time. And yeah. because because my dad at the time was renting chairs, tables, jumpers, and stuff. And I used help. to carry tables like nothing like this, like okay. like that. I used to carry tenters at a time. Like what's that, was that girl's my dad. name from? The girl from <laughs> what's that Encanto? Tale? Encanto. Okay, I forgot, her um, I forgot her name, but that's me. Fuck, that was I'm, you. I feel like I'm I'm pretty strong. Like you I are. I remember like I used to carry those tables and everything. So I remember the moment she threw that, I was like, oh, okay. So Bitch. I literally fucking threw a whole ass table at her. Like, what's good, basically, you know? But, but it wasn't just her. It was like it was a lot of girls against a lot of girls. It was, and then our other cousin comes in and starts like, "I girl, it was a lot." It was. Oh my god, our cousin this. like rocked her though. Oh my god, Vanessa fucked her up. <laughs> she did. I was like, "Oh my god, oh my god, it was just crazy." It was just you guys. It was just so bad. Everybody that day got in a fight. It was a. It was a. Hot it was mess. like it her was friends hot against mess. us, and then us against them. It was all bad. I don't even know how many girls were against because. I don't want anybody to be like, oh, they jumped her. Like, no, it was like her friends against us, and it was a it lot was of just everything. a lot of girls just fighting. I don't even know who who was fighting. Like, it was like crazy. But I just remember it was insane that day, and we just till this day we like we'll laugh about it now. Like, oh my god, the like the ladybug party thing. That was just it was so... like so freaking hilarious. Like looking back, like why did why was like, everybody what fighting? What happened? Like what actually fucking happened? I feel like I mean <laughs> Andrea too was like in, Andrea our friend in she too? got down that day too like everybody <laughs> every said, every female in that party got down like, like and we're not like you're we're not even like, what the we, hell we're, we're not, not even fighters. you know there's people that drink and want to fight we're, we're not, not fighters like that. we're not fighters like you will never see me and Myra fight somebody like never no. but it's just so funny how that, that was day, my first and last physical fight period honestly like I had to say it was my first real fight ever too. I yeah. feel like I ha- I've had encounters where, like, yeah, like you're confronting like, or, you know. Yeah, stuff like that, but physical shit like that, yeah, for yeah. sure. Like, you, we don't we do not do that. So it's just funny how that day, like, everybody got fucking... Everybody had fucking balls. <laughs> like, it's just so <laughs> funny. Like, what is the reason? Like, how did I throw a table at? Like, I can't do it. But that was one for the books. Oh, my God. Speaking of Vegas, I'm all over the place. I feel like I keep getting, like, light bulbs of, like, times mm-hmm. we were drunk. Do you remember in Vegas when... We took a party bus to that one place. Oh, the, like what the, the fuck is the museum? reason, y'all? Okay, let me just say we didn't know where we were going. Okay, so we were like, we're in Vegas. What's good? Let's get up and get a party bus. We don't know where the fuck we're going, but and we're here going we somewhere. We are going to a bodies museum in a party bus. We didn't know we were going to the bodies exhibit. <laughs> we didn't know we were going. We just wanted to go somewhere. So then we we see the sign because they have the big. We see sign. the sign, but we I don't think we knew they were real human bodies girl i don't know but i just remember we were drunk as fuck and we we're like oh my god let's go there because it looked like some crazy i mean it's a bodies exhibit as crazy as it is that shit is intriguing so we were like I mean, oh it's my crazy god, let's go there so we pull up like drunk as hell in a party bus to the bodies exhibit like what the actual fuck I, we still look back and we're like we really did no, that for what? i really I, re- I actually i don't know no, that was weird i think once we actually went i was like wait this is real people like that's so weird that is so weird if you guys haven't heard of because the it's body like, exhibit it's crazy those are people that actually like lived and like i don't know ex- how i feel about that yeah it's the way that they have these bodies like some of these bodies are sliced up they have some of these bodies in pieces i mean it's more i guess to show you like educational stuff. education yes like that one guy that had um lung cancer and he's literally sliced in so insane. many pieces and you could see the cancer in his lungs you know what it just feels wrong it just it, it does i feel like we were really interested obviously like it was something that we we're like oh my god we should go there that's fucking crazy i'm kind of against it now now yes. that i actually after i went that time now that we went i'm like that is so wrong after we went it just felt wrong i was like something doesn't feel right about this like like are people really going for educational reasons or are they just going to be metiches well you go because it's intriguing it's intriguing it's a museum but it's why is it a museum those are people that 
Like that's so weird like, to me. That's weird. Yeah, I wouldn't I go bad. back. I feel bad because you actually think like, oh my god, these people once walked, you know, on earth. And they and have everything. They have their own mind, and like it's just they weird. Have everything. I'd be I'd be haunting the fuck out of that place if y'all had me standing right there, like my like, dead body. Let a bitch like, rest. Let a bitch like, rest. Actually. Like lay her down, my God! <laughs> like honestly, like fuck! I, I mean, literally can't. I understand it's educational purposes and all, but I feel like at that point, do they educational allow- on the strip in Las Vegas, girl? I just I feel like this is for a show. Yeah, I mean it is. At that point, like it's for show. And do they have? Wrong. Do they give their own like? So do they donate their own bodies? I don't know, but I feel like even if I donated myself to science, I would not envision myself in a fucking. I museum. would think people are using it for educational purposes, like at like an cadavers. actual. Yeah, not like just for showing no. the Las Vegas Strip, girl. I'm not I'd be pissed. I'd be yeah. I, that's really sad. After that time we went, I was like, "This doesn't feel right. I never want to come here again." Yeah, that was kind of weird, that was but. Sad yeah no that's just so i don't know girl but we're definitely not doing that museum this time no. but i do want to go to brunch because i want to have like a little bottomless mimosas moment together mm-hmm. that would be fun we're going to a pool party i think yeah yeah i was telling myra i was like i really want to go to a pool party because we, we never, never do pool parties in vegas and they look so fun and i honestly think we avoid them because we don't want to go in a fucking bathing suit but that's the thing like we don't have to go in the pool they got cute cover up cute, cute cover-ups yeah and like or maybe a cute summer looking dress and like that's it. But these pool parties look iconic, low key. Not a showing up in a turtleneck in the pool. Hey. No. <laughs> hey, hey, y'all. I cannot get, like, I cannot do a bathing suit. I can't. Like, I mean, I could, but I'm going to be so insecure. I'm so like, insecure. You, you just feel like everybody's looking at you. I cannot get I past just that. I can't. I think I just can't see myself at all. Maybe like a cute cover up, but why is and it even a cover-up like i need a cover-up because you know what there's people that are like confident in their bodies and they absolutely should right yeah but i feel like, like we've always been so like even how we were saying earlier like was it the first episode what our makeup and stuff yeah yeah like little things like that like we're just so weird i don't know i feel like <laughs> i'm just you know what though i do envision myself when i see a girl with a like all the confidence and rocking her bathing suit and i'm like okay period like i wish i could do i'm that. here for it like i'm like, here why for can't it? i be like that like i'm here for it all the way but i'm like why can't i just have that mentality and not give a fuck like why why am i worried if someone's staring when i'm not staring at people i don't give a fuck what they're wearing so why am i worried about them thinking what i'm wearing that part. like do they actually care no like people don't really actually yeah. care but i don't know y'all we might just pull up in the thong what's good i'm just kidding <laughs> Skinny. absolutely not no, I, I i i don't know the comment i just go that. skinny dipping was good you like i just go skinny dipping what's <laughs> that uh, oh my god i I'm can't so excited though i'm literally leaving tomorrow I'm like excited. after this i'm gonna pack all my stuff and that's so it. excited i don't know what i'm wearing girl wait you're, you're leaving in friday days. wait you haven't gotten outfits Mm-mm. i'm gonna wait last minute you know me girl uh, oop. <laughs> oh my god so speaking of vegas you know we had we told some stories mm-hmm. had some drinks i'm getting bloated with this honestly um i think we should play a game let's do we it we want to start playing games at the end of our episodes guys because we just think it'd be so much more fun so let us know what you think girl mm-hmm. we're gonna play a game of who's more likely to or who's okay, most her. likely to mm-hmm. drunk edition yeah so let's i'm excited i love these games on podcasts so i'm like these are what make podcasts podcasts yes i love this let's do that part okay i have my papers right here actually do you guys like my pig my co-host me (laughs) quit playing i'm just here like no (laughs) no this pig y'all i just feel like she's kind of a part of the show she's a queen can we give her her a name oh my god what's her name what is her name well the actual name of the 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 mono like this is like it's called like um Something ma- marshmallow or some shit. <laughs> Queen. Um, Let's give her a name. Comment okay. down below if you're watching this from YouTube, y'all. Yes. Uh, you guys, I, we keep forgetting that some of you are listening in and not watching on YouTube. So we have a little piggy squishy next to me. And that's who we're referring to. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's do this. Okay. So you're starting first. So this is kind of like So Myra or So Karina. Mm-hmm. Vegas edition. I bet you I thought I said vegan edition. I was like, what <laughs> kind of shit is this? <laughs> vegan. <laughs> okay. 
All right, I'll start. Who is most likely to get into a bathroom fight in three, two, one? Girl, you could have said me too, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't, Myra. Actually, I feel like you would. I would not. You're more ballsy, girl. Myra, I would not get into it. You know, I would not get into a fight. Like, like now you fight? wouldn't. I wouldn't. I Karina like- in high school would have rocked the bitch in the restroom. <laughs> No, I would not. I know you would. I have never rocked a bitch in what the What happened room. that one time in the locker room? You're like, bitches, get in line. No, the but that's, that because, were, that's because they were bullying you and they were trying to like come out to come me. Come after me. you. I feel like in high school, I didn't really care much, y'all. Like, I feel like I was more like, I wasn't a but fighter, but the, I had a mouth on me. That I mean, yeah, it. but just think about the scenario. Like, if she's talking shit. Uh, I mean, I guess when it comes to who's more likely to, then probably me. Yeah, a hundred. Girl, I'll tell you what. You had to think about that. Like, Myra, no, but think about it. Like, some bitch is talking shit to me. I'm drunk out of my mind. They're, like, clowning me. I mean, Mm. yeah, and that's a narrow, of course. But who's more likely to? Absolutely you. Okay. (laughs) Period. I mean, I don't want... Okay, period. This one is funny. Okay. Who is most likely to start crying at the club? Three, two, one. Me. (laughs) <laughs> i feel like yeah. i already cry for anything i feel like you imagine drunk. i feel like you've always been the the drunk crier no but 100%. i'm 100 I've, I've been the drunk crier a lot of times too we both are huh and no I but i feel like i don't know it depends i do that shit a lot and i hate myself for that i'm like why do i just start like i don't know where like <laughs> for no reason so you think it's even yeah and i'll cry for anything too like i love you <laughs> I love you. Like, like, <laughs> no, like, but like I'm serious this time, and then you're just and then I'm like, or I'm like, oh my god, I'm so I'm so drunk, I'm so embarrassing, and I'll start crying, like, girl. Uh huh. Wow. No, but I don't know. Maybe I feel like I we're I've always felt like I'm just so much more dramatic when it comes to crying. But maybe Sorry. we could be even. Oh my god, I burped again. Who is most likely to get wheeled out of the club? Three, two, one. Myra? Karina. <laughs> what i don't know no i feel like i have a like a high tolerance i don't know i don't have a high tolerance right now so maybe no but then at the same time i feel like i don't i mean i know my limit though i don't i don't drink to the point of blacking out like that only happened on accident as like 17. i'm learning i'm learning i don't do that now like to be wheeled out of the club like mm-mm. i feel like we don't do that i don't do that i couldn't i feel like i know my limit we know when we're already getting there yeah, I know when I'm one shot away from blacking out and I'm like, I gotta go. Like, I will be drunk out of my mind and I maybe maybe I'm stumbling a little bit, but you will never see me fall. Oh, I'm just kidding. Like, okay, bitch. Just kidding. No, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm stumbling, but like, you're not gonna see me like I don't collapse. know, girl, the last time you were getting your ass rocked. Ah, just kidding. <laughs> know. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I'll I'm be stumbling kidding, and I'm, I'm like, kidding. I'm like, oh my God, I could barely walk. I'm really drunk. But I won't actually be like, I won't collapse or be like, having to be carried out the club i can't do that Mm -hmm. no i don't think that see that if that's the case i don't think any of us would no because we both wouldn't yeah you know i don't know should i read the next one or Mm -hmm. who is most likely to lose their phone oh i won are we doing the two three me me. oh oh the both of us yeah we were both clumsy I actually like when I'm drinking, I immediately give my phone to Raul and I'm like, hold oh my phone. Oh my God. Hold my phone. Hold I, my phone. Yeah. And I'll just ask him randomly, you have my phone? Cool. Have you lost cool. your phone? Yeah, but he'll be like, oh, you left it at the table. I grabbed it. No, have you like lost your phone and never found it? No. Okay, then I'm most likely to have lost like two, three phones already in my lifetime. Really? And this was sober or drunk? Sober. Completely uh, sober. Wait. What i would fuck? just like How go to the you? restroom and i would leave it there oh my god no i'm so weird like in public areas I, i'm so i'm so um like the first thing i'll check is like i got my phone i got this in me i got this like i will absolutely not leave my phone behind we're not jinx i shouldn't leave my phone in vegas because i would not leave my phone i lost i haven't recently <laughs> shit i'm not fucking knocked too girl because i'm scared <laughs> uh, the last time i uh, lost my phone was back in the tiki days i used to work at the Mission oh that was tiki. a long time ago though yeah um, nowadays i don't think but like when i was younger oh my god it was like brian would be like again and there he was like a fool <laughs> running back like looking for it what is the fucking reason yeah yeah but it was like to a point where he was like wait really like he had to get me a phone like back to back at some point he was like you're joking what is the fucking reason 
I don't know, girl. Girl. But I feel like I've gotten a lot better with that, too, for sure. Who is most likely to start karaoke? Three, two, one, Karina. Karina. Ah! That was loud, huh? You're the karaoke queen. No, I'm not. I feel like we are the karaoke. (laughs) Karaoke. I feel like us and our friends, we're like karaoke people of the house. Yeah, you're definitely a karaoke. We're really into karaoke. But but you will be the one to be like, let's do karaoke. I feel like you are the one that started the whole karaoke thing. Oh, Elizabeth and and Louise love karaoke. They're oh yeah, no, no, of course, yeah. But I. But if anybody's gonna call it out, you're like, let's do karaoke. And I also feel like if I could have karaoke every week, I would. Like I really would. I love karaoke. We don't know how to sing. We never will, but it's fun. I know. Like when we post on stories doing karaoke, people actually think we think we're doing something. And I'm like, girl, it's a joke. I'm like. I'm having fun. I, I'm just having fun. The other time that I was posting singing, um, somebody was like, "Stick to slime." I was like, uh. "I was like, I'm literally like, you could tell I'm just singing. Like, it's like, just for you. Don't gotta know how to sing to sing that part. And like, whenever I do karaoke with new people, like at a new party or something, I'm like, come on, it's fun. And they'll be like, I don't sing. I'm like, I don't either. Like, like, that's not the point. If anything, like, it's fun. It's like, just funny. I think it's actually funnier when we don't know how to sing because yeah. like everyone's just you know. What's your go-to karaoke song? I know you have that one. Um, from Calle 13? <laughs> no, that's not my go-to. You I sing that one all the time, girl. I sing a lot of songs when I, when I do karaoke. Which it's one's fun. mine? Yours is A Través del Vaso. <laughs> Period. I know the whole song. I feel Literally, like I've seen the lyrics. We just love Grupo Firme a lot. and Wait, they don't sing that song. No, no, no. This is some, aside from that. <laughs> okay. Like we we sing to Grupo Firme a lot for <laughs> karaoke. Yeah, we do. Like El Toxico. Oh yeah. Um, the one yeah, that superame, superame, en tu perra vida, whatever. <laughs> like all that shit. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, period. Oh, was I next? Mm-hmm. Who is most likely to break their high heel? Three, two, one. Me. Karina. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I have, but. Sometimes my, my high heel gets like cricket at the bottom. I, it. I don't think I have either. That's actually a nightmare. Like, how hard are you stomping to break a heel? You gotta be sabateando real hard for that girl. Yeah. And even then, like, they still don't break. Yeah, I know. I don't know how that happens, but I don't know, though, because I'll be breaking a lot of shit when I'm drunk. I almost broke, broke my back the other day. I broke a toe. I mean, not my toe, but like, remember the other the day? Toe my, now? my toenail got shattered, and I was have like. Have you gone to the chiropractor for your back? No, but I feel better, so I think I'm fine. I just have a little bit of whiplash. You like, had to tell them that story. Oh, I think they know. Well, if they actually, you know what? I some people are probably new listeners. <laughs> on, on my little sister Jasmine, Jasmine, la, 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 la. <laughs> on my little sister's quinceañera, Jasmine's quinceañera. This was like almost. A, it's like over a month ago already. Yeah, over a month ago. Um, um, I was. I went to the restroom upstairs. I don't know why the fuck I went upstairs when there was bathrooms outside. I wanted to go upstairs. I think I had to retouch my makeup or something. So I go to the bathroom and Rose like, do you want me to go with you? And I'm like, no, I'm fine. I'm not drunk. Leave me alone. Uh-huh. You know, you get all sad. I'll be like, I'm fine. I am going to the restroom. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I'm like, I'm fine. So I go to the restroom upstairs. I'm coming down and I had like a beaded dress. Like my dress has a lot of beads to it. So one little slip and like, you know, she's a slippery girl. So she's going down the stairs. One step, two step, Boom. Like on the third step, I eat shit. And I, when I tell you, I go clapping all the way down. <laughs> clapping, <laughs> clapping, clapping, not me clapping no, cheeks. Right, girl. No, like literally like pop, 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 pop to the very bottom. And, and like, I knew I wasn't. didn't stop. I did not stop. And it's because the beads on my dress were making me slippery. So I, did anybody see you? That is a lot of weight on my tailbone going 100 miles per hour, bitch. <laughs> Like nobody I was, saw you like eat shit. Nobody saw me. People heard me. They were right here downstairs in the like, living room. What the fuck is they that? Were downstairs in the living room, and they ran towards me. They're like, "Are you okay?" And I was like, "I'm fine." I my back. I could barely stand, bitch. I was like, "Well, the next day you couldn't yeah. walk." But because I was drunk, like I think I just like <laughs> danced you're, it off. You're a fucking clumsy um drinker. I know I am. I'm realizing that shit right now, girl. I know I am. The stair fall. The your broken toenails like girl the toenail i think someone stepped on me how, how did you not feel I that i don't know but I, I, this was a whole other thing y'all so at the quinceanera you know like i felt fine after that i know it hurt but after that, i felt fine the next morning i couldn't even stand up it was a whole mess girl you know over the weeks it got better i still feel the pain sometimes 
I should probably go get that checked out. Still haven't gone. It's been like a month. Um, the other day we went to a party. Um, it was a Mario Twins birthday party. And you broke your nails. both my big toes were like shattered. Well, not my toe. My 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 <laughs> my big toenails were shattered. Um, I remember looking down in the bathroom and I was like, why is there blood on my foot? And my half my nail, like actually half of my nail was missing, huh? And there was blood everywhere. Your toes and were literally like, the sandal had blood on it. And I was like, what the hell happened? Like, I don't know how I don't feel these things. And I'm glad I didn't feel that because if that would have happened, like, and it was like on like the side. How is it right now? Ripped off. Um, You're like still bloody and crusty. <laughs> she's, uh, she's healing. Okay, period. But yeah, she's a fucking mess now that I'm thinking about it. I oh like this God. other question. Who is most likely to spend all their money at the strip club? Three, Three two, two, one, one Karina. Karina. I don't go to strip clubs, but. But the times you have, mama, she's throwing, she's throwing money um i've only been like once you know what we, we don't like the guy strip clubs we went to the guy strip club for your bachelorette i like the mm, girl ones the girl ones like you're like go the fuck off queen clap those cheeks pop off we are hyping you the fuck up yes like we are like period queen right like we're having so much fun because we had gone um to the guy one it's fun too it's fun too and all it's you're like more purr, funny go off it's like more funny we're like laughing like ha ha my god everybody know but we went to the girl one and it's just so much more fun i'm like period queen you're just blah, like blah, hyping blah. them hyping them the fuck up yeah like we're just hyping them up etc <laughs> i was gonna say <laughs> clap jigs, <but> then, <laughs> i mean like you know we'll be like smacking them like ah period queen <laughs> and like i feel like they feel more comfortable around us mm-hmm. too because we're girls and stuff so they'll be like all like dancing with us partying and stuff like yeah. we'll be actually partying together with them so it's like fun you know that's okay. funny who is most likely to end the night early to go get food three two one the Karina. both of us oh that's true <laughs> no of course the both of us but i feel like it's always like you and Ro have this thing oh. with food no and we all fucking do it's called an obsession but you and Ro, like holy shit i don't know if I, the last time i told you i'm like you guys actually order like multiple plates <laughs> No, no, no. Okay, Myra. And you're like, and you're like, well, we don't need. I'm walking off. I'm kidding. (laughs) Okay, Trisha. (laughs) Frenemies. Just kidding. I'm leaving. I'm just kidding. Okay, no, but um, no, yeah. I mean, no. Well, when I drink, I get like. No, I mean, we are all fucking down to go grub, but you and Raul, the way you guys are on a drunk night. Yeah, like I have the drunken munchies. I'm gonna eat. What's that? No, like, like. (laughs) And right now you're doing fucking amazing. You've lost a lot of weight, but you like you know how like sometimes when we could just go out to eat in general. No, and I know in Vegas this weekend, I know I'm gonna go off. Period. I know I'm gonna no, eat. No, but like lot. in general, like I remember once I was like, wait, like do you guys actually eat everything? You're like, no, we just like try off. We like, like picking that stuff. But you guys like will go off in the menu if you are like craving a burrito, a taco, a sope, or you guys will get everything. Yeah, and eat out of it. Like you guys' table will be filled with different plates, bitch. Yeah, we'll I'm be like, all of it. we love a mukbang, bitch. And like, we'll you be- literally, you guys go the fuck off. Not that you guys eat everything, but, like, yeah. it's fucking interesting going out to dinner with you guys. Like, you guys really fucking order the whole menu. <laughs> fuck you. No. <laughs> I feel attacked. You know? <laughs> I love how she's so casual. Y'all really eat like pigs. You know? <laughs> no that's what i'm saying you guys don't eat all the plates no we i, no, it's I love like, it's I'm actually like oh sampler. shit that's actually uh, there you go that's what i'm trying to say no we a sampler <laughs> me and Ron are very like yeah let's try this you guys are super that. like let's adventurous with like your food <laughs> <laughs> adventurous with our food <laughs> okay me over here like a fat bitch sitting here <laughs> no <laughs> not me being an ogre judging you like what no you're not no i know no everyone says no that's what i'm saying not that you guys eat the whole like we're foodies place. we're foodies the house but like i i actually yeah. love that you know, we're fucking foodies. i actually love that you guys are like trying different you know, shit out because you know i know you guys don't eat all of it you guys are just like trying it i'm like okay period you couple know, goals do you know about that one time <laughs> where we went to cheesecake factory and we ordered one of each cheesecake and it was like 30 flavors <laughs> Why? <laughs> Bitch, and you'd say I'm over here being like, I, yeah, <laughs> y'all really be doing that how shit. How many cheesecake flavors do they have? Like fucking 30, 40? We actually got one of each. Why? Just like choose. <laughs> we didn't go to the restaurant and said, give me a cheesecake. We did a video. <laughs> but like, oh, that's, okay, that's different. But that's like us. Like me and Ro, we're like, yeah. we're like that. It's yeah. So sad. 
I mean, realistically, though, like, we're all down to get fucking food. Period. We're foodies. But that's so interesting. No, like, you know what? That's really interesting what you guys I'm do. I'm a foodie. Um, I would love to go to a food fair or something. Yeah, no, same. Oh, my God. We should have a fucking mukbang on here. We should. Like, actually. Who is most likely to throw up at the end of the night? Um, Three, two, two one. one. Myra? Me. <laughs> I said that, like, <laughs> I feel like I try really hard not to throw up. I try but really I, hard. I see, like, I don't know, because I haven't drank like that, like that in a while. I don't throw up like that, because I always try to hydrate as as drunk and um, a me- as a mess as I could be. I try to drink a water bottle before going to sleep. I feel like those were, like, the younger days. Like, younger days, I was absolutely oh, throwing up. Yeah. We're grown women now, girl. I was a bit I'm like... <laughs> she knows how to drink now. <laughs> um, Who is most likely to get a tattoo? Three, two, one. Karina. I don't know if I would get one. Uh huh. But since we're saying most likely to, I guess I would never see you in one. So I would say maybe me. But even then, I've never like never Thought been interested it. in them. I never. It's funny that you say that because I've actually considered it now. Oh, like with like what I can see though. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, and that's the Wait, only Mara, time I would actually I think do that it. Is so cute. Yeah, like maybe his birthday oh or like God. his name or something. That's so cute. Yeah, but I don't know why I thought you were you would actually like get one. I've never. I don't know really? what it is. I just. I think they are. Con- I'm so iconic, picky. But- oh yeah, you like got your my hair. brows that are they're microbladed. I'm doing a whole different shape right now, and I'm figuring it out with a brow pencil. But like, I'm so picky that I know I'm gonna constantly be changing my mind, and that's why I have. Yeah, you dye show. your hair one day, and then the next day you you regret it and you'll cry about it. Like. Mm-hmm. So you shouldn't get one. This is the longest I've stayed blonde. I'm shocked. Yeah. I feel like I'm I just so, like. I can't stick with the uh-huh. same thing. No, you're really indecisive. Like, really And that's indecisive. why I would not be able to. Because if I was told like your favorite look tattooed on your face forever, I'd be like, no. You know what's crazy? Um, it can't. Because I, I'm going to change my mind. Yeah. I don't know what it is. I just. It, it's never interested me. Like it, it just never has. Um, I've actually had dreams where i'll get like that a you, really big you regret tattoo it. like i'll get a really big one on my back or something what's a like crazy one that you um that you dreamed of i don't know it was just like i feel like i dreamt recently that i got something on my back and it was like random too like really random and then i was like wait why did i do that like it was mm-hmm. a really random one too it was so fucking random With, like, no meaning i had a dream one time too that i got a tattoo like a blown up like red rose on my arm Period. just like red as fuck <laughs> and like was there was no reason for it i was like Purr. but like i don't know i was just so upset i'm like why did i just get a blown up like red rose on my hand <laughs> period not that there's anything wrong with that but uh-huh. it was just so random just not you, yeah and i and i couldn't believe it i'm like wait like i just did this for no reason like <laughs> i'm dead I know. and like it would bug me i know you know i feel like as a like when i was younger like maybe i did think about them but I never like. I don't know. I don't know why. Does Raul have any? He doesn't, but he has thought about it. Brian doesn't have any either. Brian's brother's actually a an actual tattoo tattoo artist. I know he is. Yeah, he is completely tattooed from head to toe. I'm shocked Brian doesn't have one. And yet. Brian doesn't have a single tattoo on his body. Like how? Mm-hmm. You would think like I have a brother. Let me get. I know get some free tattoos. Yeah, that's would. so weird, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, who is most likely to pee? Who is most likely to pee their pants? <laughs> Girl, I'll just say it. Countdown. <laughs> Three, two, one. Me. Yeah. I've done it. I did it for my quinceanera. I did it for my mom's <laughs> wedding and my wedding. But you didn't get drunk at the quinceanera. It was just you peeing because you couldn't find a bathroom. Oh my yeah, my quinceanera. I was sober. Yeah, let's 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 um let them know that you were not drinking at 15, please. Oh yeah. Well it just says who's most likely <laughs> well, to pee their pants. I'm just uh, well <laughs> let's not say that but i was not drunk for making say though no you just couldn't find a bathroom i just i remember getting and then you know because we had the the dresses like needs dresses we couldn't take them off the whole night so the whole night karina i didn't pee god i didn't go to the restroom at all to avoid taking off like the crinolina and stuff oh my god that shit is annoying so huh? i went home and i remember like i don't know if it was like um our brother Luis in there or something and I just remember like fucking banging at the door, like I'm gonna pee, I'm gonna pee. And you know when you just give up and then you just like let it out. It feels really good too. It feels so good. That's exactly what happened. Mm-hmm. I peed my fucking eating in a dress. <laughs> the second time after that, it was my mom's wedding. I peed my <laughs> dress. 
the last time and I could not fucking believe it. I'm like, this is a damn tradition. Like I already made it a tradition. <laughs> tradition, tradition then. My wedding day. No. Uh, you know your wedding? With my fucking wedding dress on. <laughs> Wait. No. I my think you wedding did. day. At the actual venue. Lupita was in the Lupita was in there with me. Right? She Wait. was helping me take off like the corset. Right. And then we were, and then the, my dress, my dress was tight too. So we couldn't like lift it. And there came a point where like, I think we, we were able to lift the dress and I was like trying to squat on the, I couldn't even take my Spanx off. And I think Lupita was like, just go on top of the toilet or something. And I was like, basically like, like facing that, like riding the toilet. I don't know what the <laughs> fuck. Was like. like I just lifted it and I went on top of the toilet trying to pee, but I had my Spanx on. So it was like everywhere. <gasps> oh. <laughs> God, what is the fucking reason? I know you had your space on. You didn't know you and had your space on. They say it's bad luck to wash your wedding dress. Ooh, so you didn't wash it. So I never washed it. I think that shit's in my room, bitch. <laughs> no, it's not. I feel like I've seen your fucking dress a lot of times. My wedding dress is at my house, <laughs> bitch. You got married too. So your whose dress? wedding dress is in my room? Your dress. Oh, <laughs> you did get married too, bitch. Saying? I'm like, whose wedding dress is in my room? <laughs> No, you forget it. You got married. No, no, no. I could have sworn <laughs> that I didn't get married. I'm just kidding. No, I could have sworn. What the fuck did no, I? No. I could have sworn your dress was in my room. I could have sworn no. for years. I could have sworn. No. And now it ex- explains the scent. I'm just kidding. <laughs> You're like, and it smells like fucking piss. No, no it's uh. actually funny. I've actually opened it. It doesn't smell like piss. Wow. It's I think funny. like. You know, sometimes you just get lucky that your piss is like water. I think it was one of those. Girl. I know. I, I can't, can't believe I'm saying that. I never Wait, watched so it because it was bad luck. The to real watch question it. is when's the last time you shit yourself? I don't remember that. You don't remember? It's been that long? Yeah. Oh, what? Girl, I don't think that's normal to shit yourself just like that. It's not. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm just asking. Wait, to actually remember, girl? I'm What the fuck? Yeah. You never had like um. Where you, I'm like, pretty it was sure a I fart. shit myself like as a baby. I don't remember as an adult. You're actually you're lying, dude. No, I'm not. I'm serious. You, you never had a moment where you had chorro and you you thought it was a fart and you shot yourself. No, I've been close to like where I'm gonna let it out and I'm like, okay, oh no, God, that's actual it shit. Come out. Shit myself. I had having. I'm not lying. Oh my God. Okay. Actually, shit yourself never in mind. your underwear. No. <laughs> shit i'm sure as a kid probably as an adult <laughs> you make no. me feel as, girl you make me feel it, has everybody shit their self as an adult me it's just you <laughs> fuck you no oh, uh, like, uh, like them. No, no i know luis has shit himself too <laughs> Wait, exposing to luis? <laughs> like, no. why? there's gotta be somebody watching that had chorro last week or something no i've heard i have heard but i i, I swear okay. to you i just have the not last time it happened as to me. an adult the last time happened to me was early February. You're like yesterday. Oh, this February? I'm shitted right now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, last February? Like last month? Yeah, I told you. I literally told you on my birthday. I was like, I think I shot myself the other day. And you were like, fair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wait, I honestly probably would have thought you were kidding. I swear to God. I literally Why probably thought I you were joking. just tell someone I shat myself just for shits and giggles. Like, <laughs> okay. No, no I, I, I really probably thought you were kidding because I didn't. I mean, it was just one of those, that. like, you don't know, like when you're sick and like, and you really think <laughs> it's a fart. No, I think I actually, I was on my way back home. Well, it's funny that you shit yourself. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> but I peed myself. And you know, I know. I love have you s- peed yourself as an adult? No, actually. So, yeah. Yeah. That part. And I believe you. Yeah, that's gross, Mara. I only shit myself. <laughs> that's fucking disgusting. I know, I know. <laughs> it, it doesn't happen often. Um, but yeah, girl. I, it was because I'm sick. I don't shit myself on the day daily, y'all. Like, this is like once in every a blue moon. You're like, once every week. No, it, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Well, anyways, was that was um interesting. You guys, this episode was fun. Mm-hmm. And... Next episode's gonna be. be, 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 be. <laughs> Next episode. Are you lit? Okay, so did, did you get lit with that? Am I buzzed? Are you? I don't know. No, you're not. I think I am. Are you I'm actually drinking? Sweating, it? dude. Yeah, you're lit. Um, but you know what, guys? If you thought this episode was fun, the next one's gonna be even funner because it's gonna be a recap of Vegas. I'm sure because mm. we're gonna be in Vegas this weekend. That was fun. That was guys. interesting. 
that was honestly a lot of fun thank you guys so much for um tuning in for coming over but <laughs> well basically they're kind of over with this mm-hmm. thank you guys so much for tuning in make sure you guys stay subscribe. tuned every week um make sure you guys subscribe on all platforms whether that's youtube and all other uh, podcast platforms if you are watching from itunes make sure you give it a rating and review and this was fun y'all it was fun i'm I'm living for the podcast vibes guys let us know what we should call you guys like should we have a name for y'all like do we call you chins or like uh chinies <laughs> i was thinking of one but i just don't know how people are gonna feel girl. the chin squad let chins. us know chins what was your idea i i mean because you know we call each other big bitches <laughs> Mario was like, like too much. Mario was like, should we just should we just call him big bitches? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I don't like it. You don't like it? I like you guys let us know down below what you guys think we should call you guys because I think we should have a little fun name for the chins and giggles, like, you know, squad. Mm-hmm. But it's a hard one, girl. But yeah, y'all, we had a, a freaking blast. That was fun. It's time to wrap it up, y'all. We wish we we'll could stay. Keep you guys updated how it goes um for Vegas. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for tuning in. We love you guys. We gotta wrap it up. We'll and see we'll you see guys in the next. We'll see you next week. Yes. Bye. Bye. Bye.